And if this is if this is anything, Libra, it boils down to it's just a matter of getting yourself out of a rough situation, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Because quite frankly, honey, ain't nobody got time for that shit. And damn sure nobody needs to be putting up with a toxic situation. Hello, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what is up, guys? So welcome to March 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, um, I could be talking to a cross watcher here, so the roles could be reversed. So just place it in your life as it fits. If it if it if it resonates with you, but not necessarily in the way that I'm narrating it, then just place it in your life as it fits. And please do not try to fit anything into your life that doesn't fit naturally. Yes. So I am available for personal readings. If you'd like to get one, all of the information is in the description box below, including my email address and a list of some of the readings that I offer. Just read through that. Shoot me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com, and I'll get you all set up. Also, if you are vibing with me as a reader and you would like to go over and check me out on Patreon, I highly recommend you do that. We do daily readings over there. We also do bi-weekly twin flame mirror readings and bi-weekly inner masculine, inner feminine readings in which we get a glimpse of what could be going on with your inner masculine and inner feminine to help you balance, heal, and integrate those energies. Yeah? So for this month, Gemini, we, in, we are in the month of March, and so we have St. Patrick's Day uh, this month. So I was inspired to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck to get us some Oracle guidance to close out the reading. And we are going to be going with the Mystical Manga deck this month for our Tarot. Yeah? All right, Libra. Let's get into your pre-shuffle. Now, I want to say this. As soon as, as soon as I connected with your energy, Libra, I felt a sense of well, this isn't, this isn't going to be too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This isn't going to be too different or like too new for a Libra, a Libran energy, but I felt a strong sense of indecision. But not only are you indecisive right now, um, I feel like you might be panicking about it. Because even when I went to like start shuffling to like to get your pre-shuffle, I, I was told that I needed to do five shuffles because I feel like you are so scattered right now. You're all, so all over the place that it's actually starting to make you freak out. But also you could be in a pretty serious situation. I'm hearing a heavy relationship. You could be in a relationship right now in which you're facing, should I stay or should I go? I don't know, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. Um, things might... I don't I, I don't really know where this is coming from, but for it feels like for a very small amount of you, this could be actually a, an abusive relationship, whether that be verbally, mentally, emotionally, or physically. I, I mean, I hope it's neither none of those, but I do feel that somewhere. There's some there's like panic here. Something is really happening for you right now. Like something there mm. And not only is it a rough situation, but the fact that you can't decide what to do is only making it worse. Your pre-shuffle energy is the very first card that came out for you, Gemini. Or not Gemini, I'm sorry, Libra. And um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but I also just did the Gemini reading. So, like, there's that. But even before any of the cards came out, I was feeling this energy, this, like, panic energy for you. And then the first card that came out is the Six of Swords, and it fell sideways. Do I stay or do I go? And then confirming the fact that you can't just, you straight up can't figure out what to do, you have the Five of Wands with that. So not only is this representing external conflict and a differing of opinion, but it's also really, really representing internal conflict for you, Libra. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords, and then you have the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Because the Knight of Swords is talking about needing to cut something away, needing to fight for something. But I feel like, Libra, you might be fighting for the wrong thing right now because the Seven of Pentacles is kind of saying, I'm, I'm hearing we've been over this before, or we've been through this before. And that actually is what I feel like Libra is kind of giving you, is filling you with this sense of inner conflict or inner turmoil. Because yes, you have been here before. Whether it's in this same relationship or in this same circumstance or just in a completely different one. 
with different people, a, a relationship with a different person, whatnot, whatever, but the energies are the same. And for some reason, I feel like somebody here is having trouble letting go of that and having trouble learning this lesson and finally cutting this away. And instead of cutting this away, I feel like this Knight of Swords energy might be you still trying or somebody still trying to fight for it. Aggressively, like hard body, tooth and nail. Like that's kind of, that's what I just heard. Ugh. All right, Libra, let's, um, let's clear up, clear this up. Let's get a cleansing shuffle and then we're going to get into the official reading for you here. Yeah. All right. One more cleansing shuffle. All right, Libra, let's get into this here and see what we have for your month. spirit please make me a clear channel for all libras at this time sun moon rising and venus please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved please give us clear and accurate representations of the general energies for libra for the month of march of 2024 Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Libra, five shuffles here. One. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021, this is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, I'm getting interesting. I'm getting a pink energy for you right now, Libra. It's the same as I did for, I saw for Gemini. However, for you, Libra, the, what, I, what I felt, or I'm sorry, what I heard when I felt, saw and felt into that pink energy was relax, just, shh, just chill, just chill. It's gonna be okay, all right? It's this pink energy that's coming through that's trying to soothe you right now, okay? Every, the, the, the divine is trying to remind you and maybe in some cases even convince you that everything is going to be okay, all right? You're not a bad person. You're still unconditionally loved by the universe. You haven't gone so far off path that you're never going to get back. Don't even, Libra, baby, don't even entertain that thought, okay? Let's cut the deck. Overall energy for you, Libra, you've got temperance, which is crazy because temperance was at the bottom of the deck at, under a bunch of stuff that I was reading through that I just did not really want to talk about because it was too much of a tangent, blah, blah, blah. But here it is again. All right. And I literally, Libra, I just heard pace yourself. Be patient. And also I'm feeling like everything is going to work out in time and everything is going to be balanced. No matter what, if you're facing leaving a situation or uh, leaving a certain situation behind or whatnot, whatever. I feel like somebody here is facing leaving a situation behind. This could be a relationship. This could be a marriage. This could be a job, whatnot, whatever, whatever. And a lot of the internal conflict that someone might be feeling here in terms of this is like, well, what's going to happen to so-and-so when I leave or if I leave with this, that, and the third, like I, there, I think there's a fear here, um, Libra, what is really causing this panic or fearful energy is the perception of a lack of balance should you remove yourself from a situation but that's not the case here because if you are being guided or feeling like you need to remove yourself from a situation then there's a good reason for it and quite frankly you the action of you leaving the situation separating yourself or at least reducing your involvement that could bring greater balance into the situation someone may be overgiving here the situation may not be balanced or reciprocal. And so by you being guided to, to move away or move in a certain direction, that actually could be exactly what's needed to bring balance into the situation. But ultimately, temperance here is reminding you to just stay calm, be patient. Everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to work out in the end, okay? 
Underneath Temperance, you have the Ten of Swords, Libra. Underneath the Ten of Swords is Strength. And then underneath Strength is none other than the Eight of Swords. So quite frankly, Libra, this definitely feels like you are being guided to be strong enough to put a situation to rest, to break yourself free from some sort of mental conditioning, I want to say, or some sort of mental prison to re-identify yourself, change the game, or send a message that changes, ooh, honey, that changes the karmic cycle, takes you off that karmic loop, and brings justice into your life. There you are, Libra. So ultimately, what's going on here, Libra, is you are being guided to end the karmic cycle for yourself. And potentially, maybe even other people around you. I did just hear that. But just because you're removing yourself from a situation which is effectively ending a karmic cycle for you doesn't mean it's necessarily going to end for them because they could always make the decision to go back into that same type of situation just with another person. But Libra, that's none of your business, none of your concern, and definitely not your problem. Okay? All right. Just saying. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading, you have, well, shit, the King of Swords. Honey, baby, boo, boo, chow. It is what it is. Just the facts, ma'am. So if, you're really, if, you're, if your emotions are really getting the best of you right now, the best thing you can do is fall back on logic, as much logic as you can. And I don't mean like overly optimistic logic. I mean like, what are the facts, Libra? Let's make it real easy for you. Let's take the emotion out of it and let's just make it real black and white, cut and dry. From that point of view, Libra, what are the facts? King of Swords is coupled with. The fact of the matter is the situation is toxic. The devil. Straight up and down. I don't care what type of emotional attachment you have to this situation. Honey, it is toxic and you need to get the fuck out of there. Straight facts. It yields what it yields. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Shit, man. The Six of Swords. There's that Six of Swords again. And if this is if this is anything, Libra, it boils down to it's just a matter of getting yourself out of a rough situation, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Because quite frankly, honey, ain't nobody got time for that shit, and damn sure nobody needs to be putting up with a toxic situation. As long as you've gotten to the point where now you can see the situation for what it clearly is and recognize the lesson that you may have learned, you need to learn here, or just come to a greater awareness of the situation, there is absolutely no reason why you should still have to deal with it. Awareness is key. Awareness is also just like a sword. It's double-edged because while now that you're aware of it, you have the edge to or the, the the edge to cut it away but then if you choose to ignore that awareness now you're cutting yourself six of swords is coupled with the ace of cups libra why are you moving why are you being encouraged or guided or feeling like you need to move away from this situation it's simple self-love self-appreciation the divine is pouring this unconditional love down towards you just to get you to calm down a little bit, to soothe you a little bit, and to recognize that you deserve something so much better. You shouldn't have to deal with this any longer. Love yourself enough to make the decision to say yes. At least, even if you don't do it right away, at least allow yourself to be comfortable with the fact that if you're in a toxic or negative situation, you don't have to stay there. Okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Libra, is the Five of Wands again. Yeah, that is the challenge here. The inner, in the internal conflict, which could also be directly related to some sort of external conflict or external differing of opinion. There could be someone in here in your life that is really manipulating you here, trying to get you to see it their way when their way is wrapped up in all kinds of codependency and toxicity. When I really feel like you have a higher awareness that's showing you or your higher self is coming into the situation like, baby, wake up. Please. 
Five of Wands is coupled with Woof, the Five of Pentacles. So if this is a, if this is a codependent relationship for you, a codependent situation, you have to recognize that that is what is happening externally is reflecting an internal situation. Okay? There is a sense of lack mentality that is even allowing you to entertain this differing or this other side of the opinion or this other side of the equation when the other side of the equation is manipulating you, is toxic. This is literally a manipulation tactic, Libra. Someone prying on your vulnerability when it comes to balance. Someone not prying on, someone um, praying, excuse me, praying on your, your Achilles heel when it comes to balance and harmony. This is not harmonious. This is abusive. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra. Eight of Cups. Time to walk away. Eight of Cups is coupled with, boop, Three of Swords. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, don't you think? Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is heartbreak, bet betrayal, backstabbing, whatnot, whatever. Walk away from it, Libra. Have the self sense of self-love to recognize when you need to move away from rough waters to calmer waters. With it. Recognize the big, the big message here, Libra, is recognize that you deserve more. You deserve better. And that's where this pink energy, this unconditional love is coming in. It's like, it's like the universe or the divine is like pumping this into you right now, trying to get you to understand a sense of self-worth and self-love and to recognize that you don't have to stay in a situation like this regardless of what anyone else says. You face bringing more balance and harmony and union into your life by removing yourself from toxic energies than you do in trying to stick with it and trying to fix it or something. I don't, I don't know what you're trying to do there, but you don't know. Nope. Nope. Like I said, you may actually be bringing more balance into the situation by following through with your intuition, this, 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 conflict, inner conflict, and separating, moving away from the situation. Sec uh, first half of your reading, I'm sorry, first set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Libra, we have the Nine of Swords. Yes. Fear. Over analyzing the situation, that could also be where this inner conflict of the five of wands is coming in because I feel like you're thinking about it way too much. It really doesn't need to be thought about. I mean, there really isn't that much to think about, Libra. It feels pretty cut and dry. King of Swords to the Devil is the first half of is the first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. The first half the first set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading is reiterating how you're overthinking this. Nine of Swords. Some of you may be getting caught up on the logistics of that. Maybe you're you're leaving a partnership. Maybe you two live together. Maybe you're married. I don't know. Um, but some of you are freaking out over the logistics. How am I going to support myself? Where am I going to live? What are the, what's going to happen to the kids if you have kids? You're 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 way overthinking this though, because the fact of the matter is that this is toxic, and should no longer be entertained. Okay, Nine of Swords is coupled with, yeah, the Two of Cups. So this is a, this could very well be a romantic relationship or a business partnership or maybe a creative partnership or maybe it's a friendship. I don't know, but you're allowing, you're allowing this 3D situation to have way too much control over you. You have to remember that you are a multidimensional, infinite creator. Okay, you don't have to allow a 3D circumstance like this to have so much control over you, so much control over your emotions, so much control over your thoughts. Okay. Now, if this were the lovers, maybe I would think this is on a higher level, but it's not. It's the two of cups. That's 3D. So this is just saying to me, this is strictly 3D problems. 
and you are so much more than just a 3D being, right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you have, oh, okay, well, you have Judgment. I always confuse this card in this deck for the lovers, but it's Judgment. Higher awareness, you're being called to step up. There is definitely a wake-up call here. This is where your higher self is saying, babe, Libra, wake up, please. <laughs> for the sake of all that's holy, will you just wake up? <laughs> And I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm kind of trying to make light of the situation because this is fucking heavy. Okay. The judgment card is coupled with the Ten of Cups. And what this is kind of, what this is saying, in my opinion, and what I'm feeling for it right now, this is saying, wake up to what truly matters to you. Become aware of what really is a happy, a, a happy family or a happily ever after or whatever. This is asking you to look at the current situation and say, okay, does this really look like the ideal situation you want to be in? I mean, quite frankly, could anything that has the devil involved in it really truly be that 10 of cups, that, you're, that everlasting love, that harmony, that balance, that union that you're seeking or looking for? I mean, let's be real. Would it? I'm sure maybe you could find some way to, to weasel it in there, but in this situation specifically, I feel like the answer is no. Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, no. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here is the King of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody is manipula manipulating somebody with finances. Yep. Where am I going to live? Where am I going to work? What's going to happen to the kids? This, that, and yep. This is how someone is keeping control over you. Material aspect. I'm telling you. You are allowing yourself to be run ragged by a 3D situation and you are so much more than that. And I really kind of feel like Libra, it's this individual represented by the King of Pentacles that wants, that wants to keep you in this state of awareness because that way, if they can control you through material, they've got you in their, under their thumb. Which is why I feel why I feel so strongly that there is a message coming through trying to remind you that you are a multi multi dimensional infinite being. Okay, nobody has the power to control you like this unless you give it to them. The devil. The devil only has power over you over you Libra when you straight up hand it to him and consistently keep handing it to him. Of course, he's got his slick little ways of convincing you to do so. But ultimately, you are the one handing over this power. King of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Wands. But we have such a good relationship. But we have such a good house, a good home. We have such a good family. But do you really? Because I'm pretty sure this is toxic. And I'm pretty sure somebody is using the material aspects of life to manipulate you, to hold you down, to keep you in a state of unawareness. While your higher self, the universe, this, that, and the third is trying to get you to wake up to a higher awareness. And so you might be dealing with this individual really fighting, really fighting to maintain their control here. But they're gaslighting you. They're manipulating you. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, is the Six of Pentacles. So this is coming right back to what the King of Swords was saying. Balance? Reciprocity? I think not. So what do we do about that? Well, we make some cuts. We might have to do some minor surgeries, and depending on how it goes, maybe we may have to do a bit of a major surgery later. But ultimately, it's all in service of balance, harmony, Reciprocity. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Cups. You have a right to be happy. And I feel like what this is saying for you, Libra, is that when you take into account reciprocity and you take steps to free yourself 
Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Free yourself and put yourself in a position to have greater reciprocity, even if that is you finding yourself on your own, doing your own thing, vibing high and all that stuff and being in control of your life. That's a sense of reciprocity or that can give you a sense of reciprocity because you don't have somebody in your life that's manipulating you. That's taking, taking, taking and not giving anything back and making you feel like you're a bad person for wanting to be, wanting to be able to receive in return. So when you place your focus on balance, harmony, and reciprocity, that will absolutely bring you satisfaction, happiness, contentment. And oh, by the way, will leave you open for that final cup to actually get you to the Ten of Cups. Okay? This feels like there is a strong effort here on behalf of your higher self and or the universe that's getting you to wake up to what a Ten of Cups energy really would be for yourself and then to take the action steps to put yourself in a position to receive it. Okay? Excuse me. All right, Libra. Let's get into your closing message here. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. This is four. And this is five. All right, Libra. Let's get your closing message here. Oh, shit. There it is. All right. You have... This is the fifth time this card has come out this month. Card number seven. The Green Witch. Fresh, new, spring. I swear to y'all, five of the signs got this reading. I'm um, sorry, got this card. Four others, uh, uh, other than yourself, got this card this month. I shit you not. I love it when that happens. Okay. When you are pure of heart, the whole world is full of potential. And this is the message from this innocent green witch to you. She is green as in the fresh new shoot from the seed pushing urgently toward the sun. She is green and connected to the earth, flowing with the cycles of nature. She is green in that she looks as much to the natural world for company, friendship, and fulfillment as you currently do to fellow humans. Don't mind my cats in the background. She is your reminder to begin to reconnect to the wild green world, to the fairy forests all about you, to go back to a place where you empty yourself of expectations and stories and knowledge and just admit that in some circumstances, at, at some times, you are as a babe. You are newborn, and in that moment of unknowingness and of admitting and embracing your own powers of renewal, you can finally learn what it is you are here to learn. Be not so certain or so experienced when this card comes to you. Be new, be fresh, be unwise, be unknowing, be innocent, and then the new cycle can truly begin. All right. Well, there you have it, Libra. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, I am available for private readings if you would like one. And also I am available on Patreon. I highly recommend you guys check me out on there. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of April. Yeah. Take care. Bye. <laughs>